Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of scatter plots. This is standard 5.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here that shows the ages of 10 people and the number of concerts they attended in the last year. And so we need to find a scatter plot that best represents all the data in the table. And so our scatter plot is going to look remarkably like a coordinate plane. And so the age in years, you notice that here, is going to be our x-axis. So it's going to be our horizontal x-axis. So I'm just going to put an X right there. And then the number of concerts attended, as we can see, that's going to be our Y axis for all of these here. Now, even though it does act like a coordinate plane, there are a few differences. One, take a look at, like, take a look at this right here on A. You see that little line right there? That means they're not going to start, even though they're going to start from zero, they're going to kind of jump up to 12. So they kind of break the pattern there. And even though, so they're counting by twos on the bottom and they're counting by ones up on the, the y-axis there. So you can kind of get some different, you can kind of get some different scale factors and you don't even necessarily have to start at zero. But other than that, it is going to act like a coordinate plane. So let's take a look at our first. So let's just kind of look at it like this. So it's going to be uh, 15 years old five concerts attended. So let's see if we can find that. So our 15 is going to be right here between, I'm looking at A now, between 14 and 16. And then the five is going to be, I guess the number of concerts attended, they have those as, as half numbers, like decimals. We don't even need that though. So our 15 times five, because you can't attend half a concert, you can only attend a whole concert. So that 15, five is good on A. That 15, five is good on B. I do not see a 15.5 on C. It should be right here. But it looks like they've kind of got it either at a 14 or 16, so C is not looking good. And 15.5 also not so good on D. Looks like they've got everything shifted over to 16. So our next pair is going to be 12, comma 2. And so I'm seeing it's good on A, good on B, good on C, even though C is missing one, and good on D, even though D is also missing one. So 12, 2 is good. Let's check our 20, comma 3. It's going to be way over here at the end. A, there's 23. That looks good. 20, comma 3. Looking good. Looking good on C and D. Interesting. So even though the first one was off on C and D. The rest are looking good. 16, comma 5. So 16, comma 5 is good on A. It's good on B. Uh, good on C. And it is good on D. Let's check 14, comma 2. So I've got 14, 2 is good on A. Good on B. Looks like I'm running out of dots on B, though. There's my C, and D is looking good. So I've got 18, comma, 3 for A, looking good. 18, comma, 3, and I've, I've used all of my dots on B. I'm not sure what's going to happen on that one. C is good, and D is good. So let, it looks like it's going to be these last few that are going to kind of really tell us where we need to go. 15, I've already got a 15 right here. 15, 3 is good on A. 15.3 just doesn't exist for B. 15.3 also doesn't exist for C. And 15.3 doesn't exist for D. All right, so it's looking like A. Let's just check the last few for A. 16.4 is yes. 12.1 is right down there. And then 15.4 is right there. So B was starting good. It just kind of ran out of dots. And as you can see, we, our trend, we kind of spike up, and then we kind of come back down the older you get. So our answer is A.